My name is Bradley Battersby, and I'm the head of the department. Let me give you a tour of our facilities, introduce you to some of our students and faculty, and talk to you a little bit about our vision and philosophy for what we feel is the best film school in the world. The foundation and guiding principle of our program is story. From my years in both academia and the industry, the one thing we always struggle with is story. So we start our students off here learning about story from the first class onward. Our second major principle is hands-on intelligence intensive learning. So if what you're doing is dying to make films, then there's no better place than here. We study films from every period, starting in the 20s, 30s, silent films, films of the 70s. We look at new films as well, but we study film theory, everything. So now I want to take you to our post-production area. We're going to look in on the editing suites, and we're going to talk to a couple more faculty members and students. Talk to me about this process that you guys use. Absolutely. This is a place for focus and a place for research. Mm -hmm. This is where we gather our thoughts together. This is where we gather all of our you know, ideas. And uh, how we have all this exchange of ideas is how we, it's part of our process in coming up with a documentary. Very exciting. I think the stuff you're coming up with is great. So we're looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you can see that the students use these rooms very critically. We have 15 of them. And from pre-production, when the students use them as production offices, on through post-production when they're editing sound, editing picture, they're used all the time, 7 a.m. in the morning till 2 a.m. at night. try to challenge yourself whenever you can to try to do something original and to try to take risks. It begins as everything else does with the interpretation of the material in the story. And if there's an opportunity in the material to try something new and fresh, you try it. There's no way that I would be where I am in my career right now if I didn't take risks. We're going to see how far, how much of a risk we want to take. Get a good body position for yourself. If you're on a dolly, turn my body to where the end frame will be. I don't want to completely feature the window in our composition, so find and split the difference. This creates photographic balance in, in the lighting, is these highlights here. This highlight on the back of this chair here. Camera ready? Ready. And action. I think for uh, a student that's interested in cinematography, the, the best thing you can do is get a camera in your hands and start to get uh, an idea for composition and for framing. And then you also want to study lighting. And the best way to study lighting is to look at natural light first. Once you have a good understanding of natural light, then you can start thinking towards creating artificial light. You want to be able to create light as well as capture it. Very professionally done. Cut. 
But all right, excellent. Play back to that. My name is Jeffrey Booth. I am the key grip, the dolly grip, and the crane up. It's a great opportunity, you know, outstanding. I get to work on a feature film as a college student. And I get to operate, I mean, a Techno 50. The move that we're gonna do today with it is gonna start with the console, so there'll be actual camera operator who's gonna start the pan of the camera. And we're gonna give you a headset, and you just tell us what you want to do. Okay. You control everything right now. And then we're gonna do a slight arm retraction, so that's a second person, which will be myself. And then we're going to... It is going to be high, yeah. Actually move like a standard dolly, is dolly the arm up over the building. And when we reach a certain point, we're going to telescope out to its maximum reach. Talking. Everything's good. Everything's good. Hold this. Hold this. Hold it, Jeff. Hold it. Hold it. Steady. Cut. We nailed it. All right. Got it. That was perfect. Great job, man. Great job. Great job, Jeffrey. Great job. Fantastic. Beautiful. Great. All right. Scene seven, Foxtrot. Take two. Mark. So how? In this world bound by logical sense and physical laws, just one waffle remain. No es un niño a que a veces todavía actúa como uno. Sometimes there's just no explaining why things turn out the way they do. Glad it all worked out. Sometimes I don't feel like I do enough with my life, and then I feel bad about it. My life would be much less tiresome if you didn't argue with everyone. I wouldn't have to if they weren't all wrong. This is it. This is the end for me. I'm my best version, and I'm with you. You, you make things happen. On to the next thing. And cut! Alright everybody, that's a wrap! Woo!